So in this paper, uh, we actually looked at the first orbital test flight launch of the uh, Starship rocket. That's SpaceX's new prototype rocket. That rocket is actually part of NASA's Artemis program to take us back to the moon. I think folks are probably familiar that launch actually didn't use like a water deluge or water suppression system on the launch pad. And so there was a pretty sizable failure of that launch pad, basically left a huge crater. And so our research was going in and figuring out what exactly happened there and doing the forensics on what is the failure mechanism and what does that tell us about when we land a vehicle that size on the moon. So this new class of landers that we're using as we go back to the moon are significantly larger than what we saw during the you know 1960s and 70s during the Apollo program. And so with that comes higher levels of thrust, you know, bigger engines, bigger vehicles, which you know unfortunately kicks up more and more dust when you land on the surface. And and so a lot of my research is studying how can we better understand the equations that govern how much uh, dust is kicked up and where does that dust go and, and what does it do to equipment when it impinges on it. So um, this Starship launch in particular was just kind of a unique data set where you have a brand new launch vehicle from a private company designed to take astronauts to and from the lunar surface. So we're able to use that launch and what the aftermath of that launch to help inform those equations and models. So there's a, a lot of work going on and a lot of folks around the country are studying this problem of how do you land and launch a rocket from a, a dusty, low gravity vacuum environment of the moon. I think this research in particular, uh, it does sort of give us some insights into those models of what we can expect for exhaust velocities and level of thrust. Um, but I, I think particularly as we look at building uh, like landing our launch pads on the moon, if we start to build a base, this launch kind of shows us the importance of having maybe breathable launch pads, which was more or less the, the failure mechanism that we saw here on Earth, uh, where you end up with a huge pressure buildup underneath uh, a concrete launch pad. That kind of helps inform the designs that we're gonna use eventually on the moon uh, once we start to build those more permanent lunar infrastructure uh, pieces.